What's going on, everybody? So Billboard.com today did an article about Guns N' Roses reunion tour. They talk about eight surprise highlights from Angus Young to Skrillex. If you guys look at my channel uh, in the description box below, I have a video talking about the top 10 highlights from the tour, and I've shown different clips from each of the highlights. So let's look at what they have for their list to compare it to see how it comes to mind. So the band members actually like each other. Uh, first things first, you know, this is actually true. You know, it actually seems like the guys are getting along. There's, they're hanging out, uh, you know, when they're not at the gigs. And, you know, even Axel and Duff, is, I've actually, sorry, uh, Axel Slash and Duff have actually went to some of the ACDC shows to watch Axel perform. Number two, they're on time. Who would have thought in a million years that Axel Rose would go from showing up three hours late to a gig to showing up on time? And, uh, you know, that, Totally blew my mind. I, as soon as I heard about the reunion, I knew that one of the conditions is that they have to go on time. That's something a Slash has said in interviews again and again in the past. That's saying that they do get back together. They have to go on stage on time. Number three is Dave Grohl's Rock Throne. Uh, if you guys remember, it seemed like Dave Grohl and Axl Rose didn't really like each other for all these years. And now they're cool with one another. If you guys remember, Dave Grohl actually attended one of the Vegas shows that Guns played in April with Taylor Hawkins. And he was actually right, I think, in the pit. Uh, you know, bobbing his head to It's So Easy. There's a video of it out there. ACDC's Angus Young, number four. So if you guys remember, he showed up at Coachella. He played two songs with Guns, Whole Lotta Rosie and Riff Raff. And, uh, of course, those have been live staples for GNR for the last couple of years. Number five, Guns, Real Actual Guns. So if you guys remember, during one of the concerts in uh, Canada, when they flew from Philadelphia to Toronto, the, the actual band was stopped at the border by Canadian Customs, who actually discovered a firearm. It turns out the firearm was actually one of their crew members. It was registered, but I guess they had to deal with being stopped for a bit. And Axel actually referenced it during the concert. There's a video of it up in my top 10 list, so go check that out. Number six, this was one of the biggest questions people had. Are they going to play Chinese Democracy songs? And sure enough, they did. You know, they've been including Better, This I Love, Sorry. They've played a couple times, Catcher in the Rye, Chinese Democracy they've played as well. I don't believe they've played There Was a Time. I'm really looking forward to that. Or they actually, they may have played it once from what I remember. Um, they did play it on one show. And uh, hopefully they do dive in a little, little bit deeper in Chinese Democracy and include some other songs. Number seven, this is definitely one of my top moments, Stephen Adler, guest spots. He guest spotted, he basically was guest three times, one during, once during Cincinnati, Nashville, and then Los Angeles as well. He played the same two songs each time, Out to Get Me and My Michelle. Some people were speculating because he had back surgery that he wasn't able to play a full concert. And maybe that's why he was limited to only two songs. Number eight, the opening acts. You know, there were some pretty predictable acts like Alice in Chains, Lenny Kravitz, The Cult. Uh, Billy Talent was kind of a surprise, Zach Wilde and Wolf Mother. But then they had, you know, Chris Stapleton thrown in, who's a country music singer, Skrillex. Um, so there were some interesting choices. Skrillex, I heard mixed reviews on for when he played Houston. And that basically does it for the list. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the list. Are there any moments that they missed? Comment down below and let me know. And as always, guys, make sure you subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news. Take care.